so we are here in Tucson and me and Richard are just gonna go and get some in and out because we're doing a barbecue but that's a little bit later so we're a little bit hungry so we're like let's go get some in and out and then just chill for the rest of the day oh well, actually not chill for the rest of the day we have to declutter as Richard put it we gotta do it like now so it's so hot here in uh, Tucson. It's 1.14, you guys. Like, holy smokes. All right, I will see you at In-N-Out. So, we might have to get a new tire just because the tire that we have right now on the passenger side at the front keeps losing a lot of air, so... I don't know, we, we feel like with this car we've had a lot of issues, like the battery always dies on us, the, all the tires, you know, always lose air, and every time that we've gone and checked it, people are like, oh, you don't have a hole in any of the tires. So we're like, what the fuck is it? So we might have to replace it here in Tucson, just because we don't feel comfortable going back to Vegas with a tire like this. And I don't think it's safe. Places that are like for sale or for lease and all the businesses that were here when before we left like half of them are not even here anymore which is so crazy to me because Las Vegas shut down but when it opened like it opened back up to normal but Tucson looks pretty dead that's pretty sad when we're in other people's houses okay guys so we're just at my mother-in-law's house right now we just got back and I wanted to show you EG's as promised look at this so this is EG's this is mango with tahini Of course, Aziz over here wanting my tahin. The little dog's name is Coco. She's so cute. But EG's, you guys, if you are ever in Phoenix or Tucson, if you ever come here, get EG's, okay? And get whatever the flavor of the month is because it's so good. It's so delicious. You will not be disappointed. Hey guys, so I'm just in the other room where we have our stuff, like our. Um, basically all like our clothes everything that we couldn't take to Vegas I'm in that right now <laughs> I will show you in a second uh, we are going to look through pretty much everything and see what we can donate what we can chuck and what we really don't need anymore so hopefully we can like declutter so much uh, and see what we can take back uh, to Vegas and take back to the new place let me show you this horrendous mess. So this is all of our stuff that we had previously when we lived here in Tucson. 
This is my actual desk, my makeup desk, and I had to leave it because it just didn't fit in the apartment in Vegas. But yeah, this is a lot of stuff, you guys, that we have to go through and just like declutter and what we don't want to keep. So this is my mother-in-law's house. The reason why we want to declutter, not just because of our, like, because of us as well that we want to declutter it's because we want her to use this room for her own stuff as well so we're just going to clean it out make sure it's nice and clean that way when we do move into a bigger place we already know what we can get and then we can come back to tucson and ship it off to where we're moving uh, but that way we don't have to declutter then you know so yeah okay so we have we are in this room uh, and we're going to tackle now something that I've been dreading and Richard as well. But we're eager, we want to do this, I'm going to do it and you're going to come with us. So let's get started. scratch him we might have to wash it and put the ointment like now just so it doesn't get infected hey guys so I wanted to show you these uh, little ears that I got I actually went uh, like my video went viral with these ears my uh, video that has 1.5 mil which I'm pretty proud of I was pretty happy with it um, but yeah I wanted to show you these are the ears and they're still pretty good they're still intact and I have all these like, look at all these toys that me and Richard have collected over the years. We're going through everything and I got these mini ears. Richard got his ones. He didn't wear it obviously, but we would put it over the minion. And we have these like cool cups. That's Bumblebee, Optimus. And these are the cups that we got at Universal. Oh. and then the minion one I think it's pretty cool so you got all these softies yeah these are <gasps> I made that I must have been very bored this is a boomerang that Richard got from Australia See, and it was handmade says Australia the indigenous people uh, would throw this to capture the um, their prey so they would throw it so hard so fast that it would kill the animal that they're trying to get instantly and that's how they would basically get their food so this is it and it's quite heavy it's pretty heavy so you, if you think about it if you throw this with pretty good speed it will definitely hurt somebody and this is sometimes how they would fight with different people in their village so it's it was, it was definitely used and it's this is called aboriginal art so this is how it looks okay you guys so before the battery dies on me i wanted to show you something that's really really cool uh so the story of me and richard if you guys did ever watch the video there was a um, a note that he gave me that day at the airport and I have it <laughs> it's right here it said PS I love you too and that's what he wrote to me and as we shook hands that's where he placed it into my little hand and yeah we still have it so that's pretty cool so yeah, I'm going to probably charge my battery because it's dying, but I'll see you guys a little bit later. But so far, you guys want to see the mess?
I will see you guys later because the battery's gonna die. But yes, I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, we are going to Culver's. We're gonna get us some burgers because uh, when we used to live here, we used to get Culver's all the time. They're really good. Unfortunately, they uh, only sell, what, in Tucson and Phoenix? Yeah, that's all I know that they sell here in Tucson and in Phoenix. So we're gonna go give it a, give it a taste again. We haven't had them for two years, so we're gonna go. Uh, also, <laughs> my 20 pound goal is just floating away from me because <laughs> I've just been eating and I'm just like, oh man, it sucks. But when I get back, I'm gonna be more stricter to myself. So let's go. All right, you guys, so we're gonna show you where me and Richard lived for eight disappointing years here in Tucson. I'm going to show you where I, we both moved in together and then the third apartment and then, no sorry, the first apartment, second apartment and then the third apartment. So we're going to show you that. Which is pretty cool going down memory lane but at the same time uh, it bothers me that we spent so much time in this little town. So yeah. But it is what it is, cannot change the past, can only change the future. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Oh, you and I we got it Alright you guys, so we got our Cobos Culvers, I can't see that because I want to say Covers. Because mm. I can't say the L2 because it sounds weird. Go ahead. You take a shot. I don't know if this is like a East Coast thing or a West Coast thing. I'm not sure. But I, I don't see it in Las Vegas. So it could be East Coast. But they're pretty good. I think that's I'll open this one. I don't know. Tell me what it's what. Yeah, that's the burger. Let me show you the burger, you guys. I gotta say, for a fast food, like, um, place, this is the best burgers. One of the best burgers. It's got the crinkle fries. And I got fries. I like them. <laughs> the chip as a cigarette. <laughs> oh. Alright, let me show you the tenders and then I'm gonna go eat. It's so good. Alright, I'll see you after we've eaten. You and I can weather any Sleep. Hear the cricket, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. All right. So in this apartment, we stayed for two years, and I'll show it to you. So it was this one right here. It was the bottom one. 
and that's where we stayed for two years. It was a 480 square feet apartment and then Ozzy used to go all the way down there and he used to sniff and do his business. We cook barbecue in this uh, little barbecue um, thing. <laughs> And yeah, we would sit outside sometimes, but yeah, that was our place for two years. Not fucking crazy. So it was this one right here. We spent a whole year. This one was probably the biggest one out of uh, out of the two here in this apartment. But yeah, that was our apartment. This was our room. Man. So when we moved here, uh, Richard's mom and younger brother actually lived in the same complex as we did. Not in the same house, but in the same complex. Man, this was crazy. Now, we're going to show you the very first apartment uh, that me and Richard got when we first moved to America. Well, when I first moved to America and we first moved to Tucson, so that one was crazy. So let's go. So that was our apartment right here. That was the very first apartment that me and Richard ever got. We had no furniture, nothing. We had two suitcases. We didn't even have a bed. We had to go get a bed. We had to go buy a bed at Walmart, which is just down the street. And it was just so like, oh, it was crazy, right? We were so happy that we had an apartment all to ourselves, didn't have to share um, the house with your parents anymore, so we were just so happy. And we had no furniture, literally. We had to go get a, a bed, a blanket, didn't even get a proper bed, we got an inflatable bed that we used for four months. No, six months. We used it for a bit, yeah. Yes, for six months we used the inflatable bed because we wanted to save. We weren't making a lot of money. We were just making enough money for the uh, for the rent, the utilities, petrol, and that's about it. And everything, any like dollar, two dollars we could save, we would do. That place, we went through so much. Like, we, oh, yeah, we went through hell and back like just not financially but um, relationship wise like we were fighting a lot we were just getting to know each other just what we knew was that we were in love that we loved each other everything else was brand new and we had to work through it all it, it was so crazy just to, to think about everything. Maybe one day I'll sit down and tell you exactly everything, but yeah, that place we went through it. We got met, like that's the place that we ended up like getting married, not in, but we got married while we were staying in that place. And uh, I started my immigration paperwork in that place. The I had- YouTube video was there. Yep, yeah, my very first YouTube video was made there. The video of the baking soda that went viral which I'm so like that's like my proud moment of YouTube for me that's where I made that video I, uh, I had my gallbladder surgery Ugh, man it was tough it was really tough <laughs> we're gonna go put air in the tires so I will see you when we get to the petrol station Wait. It's a little emotional, like going back and seeing all this stuff because you remember all the times. And so right now me and Richard were just talking about how me and Richard, we were so young. And, you know, I, I come from a, a broken family, you know, nothing was ever stable in my life. So I really didn't understand how it is or how it was to be in a relationship. And Richard, you know, the same as well. So when we first got together, 
you know, we were so young and we were playing adults, like being married and <laughs> immigration stuff. And so it was just so hard, you know, like we had no TV, no internet, we had nothing. Like I will show you a little bit of, of the pictures that I have. I think I have one of Richard when we, when we first moved in and we got the bed and we didn't even have enough money for a shower curtain. Like, cause we spent all the money on the down payment on paying rent, uh, you know, up front and everything. So we, wow, their apartments. We basically, you know, had nothing. We, I think we only had enough for the bed. We didn't even have enough for like a big blanket. We had enough for like a couch blanket. <laughs> and yeah, on, uh, in the photo that I'm gonna show you, we had um, garbage bags for the shower curtain. Like, it was crazy. It was just insane, you know. I, d I didn't have no family here. Richard did, but they might as well have been in another country, to be honest. Um, so we just learned and failed miserably. <laughs> Many times we failed. But the way that me and Richard are, we, like he said, you know, we dive into when we really believe in something, we dive into it. Whether it's gonna work out or not, we we don't know. So that's why we go and we try it out, even if it does fail, you know, we at least said, like, can say to ourselves, hey, we tried it, you know? But on the road, there's people driving stupidly. So, and we just made it to the petrol station. So I'll be back. Hey everyone, alright, so we're back home uh, in my mother's-in-law's house. I'm just gonna end this vlog uh, here and then I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow and because uh, I'm gonna go see my friend on Wednesday. I'm getting my Brazilian wax and I get to hang out with her, so. But uh, it's, it's, um, <laughs> I was a little teary-eyed when I was in the car. I, I don't know. I just kind of went through like all the emotion things that we had gone through in all those three apartments and it was it was sad you know but it was some pretty good times you know and I hold on to those ones the most so I will see you bright and early tomorrow but it is bloody hot and Richard's mom just said that tomorrow is the first day of the monsoon which is She's pretty right because it looks like it's going to storm like no tomorrow. So fingers crossed that everything is well tomorrow and uh, yeah. Also, we got to go get a new tire. So we can't wait to go back home. But we're here for a purpose. So uh, that's all that matters. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and coming down memory lane with me. I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Bye guys.